Great. Well, greetings all. Joseph Kursky here with you. Very proud to be uh, with you today and happy to be a part of this session. I've learned a lot so far, and I hope this will be informative as well. My main focus here at ESRI is to support schools and educators in all levels, schools, universities, technical, tribal, and community colleges, libraries, and museums. And I have always been interested in teaching and learning with GIS. That is really the main focus of my research. Here's one of the articles uh, that I've written about that very topic. And today, three ways to teach about ArcGIS online. Uh, I'd like to just guide you through this, but before I do, I've got a whole channel called Our Earth. And on there, I've got a playlist of 12 videos about scale, how to teach about scale, why to teach about scale, in what context to teach about scale. Now, Kitty, can you tell me if this, for example, this new tab will open in your, whatever you all are seeing? Do you see this map of the central US? We see the base maps and measurement in ArcGIS Online. Bummer. Uh, with the map on the right. Okay, so when I go to, for example, the Great Lakes here on this tab, you're not seeing that? No, we're not seeing the screen change. Is there any way for me to share the whole thing and all the tabs that I've got set up? I think you have to stop sharing and share another one, unfortunately. Oh, okay, we'll forget that then. <laughs> oh, well, we'll do the best we can. This story map is in the chat box if you want to look at it. But one of the ways to teach about scale is a very easy way. If you go into, for example, ArcGIS Online, and you change the scale with the USA topo maps in the background, you'll see the 1 to 250,000 scale maps. And then as you zoom in, you'll see the 1 to 100,000 scale maps. And if you zoom in beyond that, you'll see the 1 to 24,000 scale maps. So to me, that is a very effective way of teaching about scale because you can have the students look at the map requirements, documents for each one of these scales and what was included, what was not included, what's generalized. Some of, them are, some of them are in imperial units, some of them are in metric units. And so it's a very effective way of teaching, again, with ArcGIS Online. No sign-in required for this activity. You just go there and you examine these different scales and you talk about what's included and what's not included. That can be used in geography courses and in a wide variety of other courses, including, of course, GI science courses. Another way to teach about it is to pull up a thematic layer like this one here that uh, looks at, say, total population or population under 18 years old. And so in that, you can also teach about scale with these layers. Another way to teach about it is looking at a different theme, for example, river systems. So if I'm out at this scale, I can see certain rivers, main rivers of the, of the uh, world. And if I zoom in, I not only see tributaries, but I also see these little dashed brown lines, and that's the watershed boundaries. I can also do a trace downstream so students will understand how river systems connect between the headwaters and the ocean. And finally, I've got a couple of um, tools here as an added bonus, comparing political areas with a 3D mapping application. You can compare Greenland. You can drag it down to Brazil. You can put France on Texas and so on with this 3D tool. It's very effective. And finally, the same tool with the Mars uh, web mapping application, you can drag Texas on top of Olympus Mons. You can drag China on top of the Vallis Marineris. You can drag the Grand Canyon on top of the Vallis Marineris. So those are four ways, including one free way, for, uh, extra way that I didn't include in the top three, but three ways to teach about scale effectively with online mapping tools. Thanks.